Sunday, March 16th, we're at Kappa for another truck camper adventure. There's Ruba. Yo. And Dave. What up? That's right. That's right. It's some TC time. Truck camper. Gonna grill a little bit later. Did you make sure it's be fun. this is camper man? Wait, Colorado camper man? Colorado camper man, yes, Brian. Brian here. So we're camping at Copper here. It's a gorgeous bluebird day. Just getting ready to grill, tailgating. So this is where you can park, basically on the outer edge. All up over here. And we're in Alpine lot number one. Or you can also park over here. You can see there's an earth roamer and you know, a couple other guys that are over there. The nice thing about Camp at Copper is we have that uh, transportation center that's back there. And they have restrooms that are open, I'm pretty sure 24 hours. So that's really nice. So again, just to give you another visual, this is where you can park, just on the outer rim of the parking lot. It's that truck camper, it's pretty funny. This is the third time I've seen that guy, actually. He likes to come here a lot, haven't met him yet. There we are. But yeah, you can park all along the edge. And then there's that transportation center. It's getting muddy, spring conditions here. All right, so we moved. We're still in Alpine One. But you can also camp on the outer edges here. And then up by the transportation center. We move closer to the transportation center so we can use the restroom and then the bus picks up here. Cause we're gonna go get some beers down there. There's Aaron. Hey. We're tailgating. I know you. Hey, Color out camper man. man. <laughs> <Cock sucker>, man. <laughs> camper man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Dave. He doesn't say stuff like that. I ruin my videos. <laughs> We're Edward 24 handing it. We're watching some fucking World War Z. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Party on the truck camera. Yeah. We got the moonlights going. Moonlights. Good shit. All right, so we just got back from our camping adventure at Copper Mountain. And before I close out the video, I just wanted to hit on a couple last things. Uh, for the video here. So uh, one thing I want to mention the buses do run until 11 p.m. That they go down to Center Village. So uh, Unfortunately last night we didn't catch them. It's St. Patrick's Day today, so we're wearing green But we were celebrating last night at Mulligan's which is an Irish pub in Center Village and just a great time but uh, we were there uh, a little bit later quite a bit later actually than 11 p.m. So we had a walk back but the buses do run till 11, so that is very convenient. Um, we also did move the truck camper closer to the travel center. Again, as long as you stay in the outer perimeter of any of the, the lots there at Copper, Alpine 1, Alpine 2, or the corn lot, they're fine with you camping anywhere. So we moved a little bit closer by the travel center, which is very convenient. They have restrooms that are open 24 hours a day. So for my camper, we don't have a restroom in here so it's very convenient when you need to use a restroom in the middle of the night or in the morning or what have you so um, and then uh, the last thing I want to say is just make sure while you're camping there you're following all rules and regulations and that you clean up after yourself uh, we saw a guy that was kind of taking advantage of things uh, he had his truck camper parked right outside the travel center it was actually plugged into the building he had an extension cord running which was pretty ridiculous uh, we thought and he ended up getting a notice and he had to leave. So um, if stuff like that happens, if people are doing that, they're not gonna allow it to do it so, or allow us to camp there. So just make sure you follow the rules, you clean up after yourself, and uh, I'm sure they'll continue allowing us to, to camp there. So, and then uh, those of you who have been following me and watching my videos, want to also let you know we tried out this upper bed, uh, which does hold 
Uh, the guy below is a little scared that the guy above is gonna fall. We had four guys in here last night, but anyhow, this thing held up. The guy that slept up there was about 135, 140 pounds, so he's a little smaller, but it held up well and uh, still is probably about 50 degrees in here at nighttime and it was single digits out again so anyways uh thanks for watching and enjoy camping at the copper parking lot and we'll see you guys later